I really think that's crazy. Um, Hi, I'm Milton Chang of Bonsai Heirloom. I will only go over Q&A uh, this week. Uh, next week, I'll talk a little bit actually about uh, Bonsai and the management, what I learned uh, from Bonsai and apply to management. I think that should be interesting because every one of us has some degree of entrepreneurship uh, in us. So let me just jump to the question right away because we have uh, quite a long number of questions. Uh, one is that, how do I improve the arts of digging up trees? Um, and he used the word Yamadori, which means uh, dug up from the wild. I would say, I think a Yamadori is a really old tree stuck from the wild, but I think people are talking about Yamadori as digging up any saplings from uh, the fields. Uh, so, but either way, uh, I would say to, to increase the odds, dig around it, dig out as much roots as you can and compensate the root loss with the uh, uh, cutting back the leaves. And uh, to be on the safe side, do it in the cooler seasons. And if you have the luxury of uh, being uh, having access to the location, dig around it over a, uh, a period so that uh, you, you can uh, force the fibrous roots to grow. The next one seems to be uh, how to uh, uh, do juniper cuttings because uh, some of them start to look yellowish and kind of drying out and should I keep it or should I hoping uh, just throw them away? I, well, of course, uh, since you already done it, I try to keep it. Uh, the secret of uh, uh, rooting, uh, especially, well, any tree, uh, juniper included, is to make sure the cutting is not dried out. So one way to do it is to maybe soak it uh, before you plant them and also uh, water it very regularly. Don't ever let it dry out. And commercial people sometimes will miss them, uh, spray uh, mist over them several times a day and to again keep the leaf from drying out because it's a combination of um, uh, sucking, the branch sucking water from the medium as well as uh, leaf getting uh, sunlight and try to force the root to grow. So you need to keep the uh, leaves green. And then uh, when, when do I put the uh, uh, juniper cuttings? Uh, wh what's a good time to do cuttings? Well, anytime, I would say smaller branches uh, during the warmer seasons, and you can cut bigger cuttings uh, during the cooler seasons. What's the best time to trim a sapling? My ceilings are about six months old. Well, actually, I really don't recommend that you uh, cut your sapling that early. I would say put them in a gr uh, growing ground, let them grow, and uh, hopefully, uh, uh, you know, it gets to a certain size. When you cut it, uh, lower branches will come out to give you some design opportunity. Uh, when you cut it too early, uh, you, you really have a little chopstick, uh, a toothpick, you know, uh, that's uh, really not, not a good starting for, for, for bonsai. Uh, even if you want to start a mom a bonsai, you want to start at least uh, like a pencil size. Every, so far, everyone says they love my video, so thank you very much. The question is, if you dig up a tree, when do you cut the roots? Do you cut the roots when you dig it out, or do you cut it when you repot it? Uh, I would probably try to save as much roots as I can when I dig it out uh, and uh, put it in a pot. And then when you want to repot it, let's say in a bonsai pot, then you really have no choice but to cut, cut off the big roots to fit the pot and uh, hopefully there's a lot of fibrous roots to, for you to, uh, uh, to maintain the uh, moisture of the, the leaves and the branches. The, uh, the, I bought a uh, juniper, young juniper. Uh, the whole thing is S-shaped, and the instruction says uh, to keep the, uh, 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 the wire on for two years. What do you think? I really think that's crazy. Uh, if your tree is, uh, in very poor condition, it will not grow very much. So keeping the wire on for two years is probably okay. But if your tree is growing vigorously, if you feed it well and keep it in bright light, uh, the, uh, uh, the um, wire will eat into the uh, trunk, will girdle it and damage the trunk. So uh, use your judgment, check it now and then. 
But you re generally, you don't need to keep the wire on that long. I would say uh, four to six weeks is enough. It'll, it would bounce back a little, uh, then you're done. Uh, I actually really object to seeing bonsai that are just randomly curved uh, no, for no good rhyme or reason uh, to make bonsai look contrived or uh, portrayed to be uh, Asian uh, that because that's what it is. It isn't. I think the bonsai should look natural like a tree. And if there's a curve, you gotta be able to explain why there was a curve. I bought a small elm that's uh, in coconut coal fiber, what do you, or coconut fiber. Well, uh, coconut fiber, it really isn't a very good material because it doesn't absorb water and it doesn't hold the uh, bonsai very well. So I think they planted the, whoever they sell it to you is uh, did it out of expediency. Uh, I would uh, quickly, uh, change it into uh, peat moss or coconut coal uh, and uh, add soil and uh, perlite and whatever else uh, so that the, the tree will grow well. Uh, for, if nothing else, uh, coconut fiber does not retain much of a uh, uh, fertilizer, so nutrient. So you're essentially growing in hydroponic with no nutrient. Uh, so that's not very good. So yeah, you, you may want to repot it. So how do I make the, the next one is uh, how do I make the needles of uh, black pine uniform? Well, I think the, I mentioned is that try to clip all of the uh, needles uh, or the candles at the same time to about the same length of the candle. Even never mind the candle is very long or candle very short, but cut them all to about the same length uh, the, 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 the candle, yeah. And then um, when the leaves come out, there'll be a flush of growth of leaves, and then a candle again, and you cut it back to again the same length of candle, or same length of a, tr a branch for that matter. Uh, and each time you do that, the needle length, uh, length will become more similar to become more uniform. So just have to keep doing, I would say uh, three times a year. And after three years or two or three years, you have pretty uniform needles. Uh, again, uh, I have a, a bunch of elms, uh, good varieties, K Catlin, Seiju, Hokkaido. Uh, can I air layer them midsummer? Uh, my answer is yes. You can air layer all year round. Uh, although midsummer, uh, it's much easier to peel the bark. So uh, that's a good time to uh, air layer. And uh, the main trick is to uh, keep the uh, moss or whatever medium uh, moist all the time. Again, what time is the best time to, uh, to air layer my uh, Chinese elm? Because uh, some elms were killed and then they shoot up with long branches. So can I air layer the um, long branches and when. Uh, you can do that anytime. Again, that's a good opportunity uh, to have the uh, long trunks to, uh, to, to have to wire with, uh, to air layer with. When do I move my black pine that I just bought from a nursery field, which means it's dug? Uh, it's been two weeks. I would say keep it in the shade uh, until you see growth. And then you know what the roots are starting to take hold, then move into the whole sun. But I would say uh, morning sun is good, uh, but um, because uh, if it's stuck in a field recently, uh, there's not that much fibrous roots, so you want to be a little bit conservative. So uh, the question is that I found most people have the same tendency uh, to have the the uh, kind of the uh, uh, bonsai curve certain ways, and. Of course, uh, everybody has their own preferences. But if I had to guess, you know, we are, hab we are uh, uh, you know, habitual. Uh, we like to do things based on habit. Uh, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you tend to see the tree go this way better or go the tree that way better. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think that's why uh, people uh, tend to do the same thing because they relate to the same kind of a, a design, same kind of a curve. Uh, the other possibility is that because we are right-handed or left-handed, we kind of see things differently. So the next one 
he's talking about digging up a, uh, a tree with multiple branches. And he's asking, can I use a reciprocal saw to split it down the middle to make it into multiple uh, uh, trees? I, I tell you one example, I have a, a, a big elm that it really grown out of shape. Uh, it's actually a, a, a pretty small leaf elm. I think that's a, maybe a sage elm that's about this big. And what I did is uh, I actually uh, decided to uh, air layer it and uh, split it. So I actually cut it down the middle. The idea is to have a stump and then uh, leaf branches out, leaf bran uh, branches coming out of it uh, to redesign it. Because sometimes you can see a little bonsai with a big trunk, with a, with a small, uh, in a sense, big old trunk uh, with a with a uh, bonsai on top of it, out of the trunk, I think that's quite can be done quite prettily uh, if you uh, do it the right way. You know, bonsai offers a lot of room for creativity. Using a stump as a starting point and additive manufacturing, quote unquote, in a sense, uh, let it grow and clip it until you get it to the shape you like. So, well, that's uh, all the question I have today. Q and A. I have today. I hope you enjoy the video and click like uh, to give me some encouragement and add to what I say uh, I missed or something I said incorrectly. Please let me know. Please subscribe to our channel and click to our website uh, on our mailing list. We can send you notices when we have trees available for sale. With that in mind, thank you very much. See you next week.